All right, so tonight we'll have uh, week three, Miners, uh, and it'll be Degrees of Freedom taking on the Big Gay Balls, uh, two teams uh, that haven't gotten off to their greatest starts, but um, both of them are having, you know, some lineup changes here and there that could either, you know, kind of turn their season around or they might... <laughs> continue to struggle. So it should be interesting to see. I think, I mean, I was, you know, familiar with the Catalyst and the uh, Degrees of Freedom, having played with uh, him in Season 11, or for him in Season 11. Um, and he had drafted Luke Mu on that Miners team as well. Um, and then... BGB has a lot of players that are, uh, you know, really experienced in minors. Some and some that aren't, but um, a good roster nonetheless. Uh, so I'm looking forward to some good games. Uh, but we will have degrees of freedom coming in with a two and two record. Um, as it was said in the previews, they uh, got swept their first week, and um, a lot of people were still kind of low on them, but then really turned it around last week um, with the addition of Anduin. And uh, on the side of Big Eight Balls, you have a 1-3 and three record. Um, and again, as I mentioned, you know, kind of surprising that they're you know, really struggling to start off um, with the roster that they have, but we'll see what they're able to do tonight. So it looks like the lineup to start off with will, or for Degrees of Freedom anyways, will still be uh, Catalyst and Luke Mu on D with uh, Corbe and Tantru on offense. So I think that's more of their uh, steady lineup. They did also pick up uh, Will 1119 uh, in free agency this week. So we'll see if he uh, ends up making an appearance. All right, should be about ready to go here.
Alright, so we'll start off on Emerald. It's interesting on the uh, big gay balls lineup as well because you've got a uh, beast mode and high mez or dirds. Um, it's two like you know two really really good uh, support offenders. Um, I, I don't know how much how many minutes uh, dirds has played so far this year, but um, I mean it could be interesting to see them work together. Two really you know uh, efficient support offenders and usually getting their partners out so it might be tricky having them play together but I mean they're both really good at what they do so Put me in a pub and then now all of a sudden none of my scripts are working. So I guess we're gonna have to roll with this for the first half. It's kind of annoying. Anyways, uh their offense getting out here in the first few seconds. Yeah, so you'll have uh, Dragon Beast playing on offense with uh, Beast Mode. And Tantru, just as I was saying, gets the first out. He'll be returned though in Jub Jubs with a good anti. Pups going to big gay balls this round. Dragon Beast though, gonna be separated from the tag for lead and he's gonna be quickly returned. Someone's gonna wanna get on offense for big gay balls fast if they're gonna use the tag pro, but runs out just as Dragon Beast gets there. Tantru and Corbe on offense for degrees of freedom. And Tantru uh, you know, making a pretty big name for himself in season 13, uh, captaining the first Super Mooper winning uh, franchise. Something that's probably going to be a lot less likely this year with, uh, you know, kind of double the minors teams from the majors ones, and not too many of them being. Uh, directly related to the majors franchises, so Beast Mode gonna be quick out here too, or I should say one return at base for uh, big gay balls, but couldn't quite get the second one in time. Seven's looking to do something with the bomb. Judge Jobs ends up hitting it, and Seven should have the return on the gate. Uh, big gay balls will be reset. Corbe misses the return on Beast Mode, and he'll be past a few now. Luke Moo is able to catch up in time though, but uh, Big Gay Balls with this re-grab train to start off here on Emerald. Still going to put up the first score uh, in this game one. Should try to... Sorry about this. <laughs> I don't know what happened to all my scripts. But we'll just have to roll with it. Uh, 
Oh, I missed the cap. <laughs> Streets of Freedom. Putting on the first one on this Emerald game. Dragon Beast, with, Dragon Beast with a nice use of the corner. He is past four now. Tantra with the boost, though, is able to catch up. Beast Mode now with a good block on the Degrees of Freedom defense. Sevens with a little space to work with, but he is going to get cleaned up. Tantra now just holding. And Big Gay Ball's doing a good job staying ahead. Seven's not able to win out the tag pro for uh, BGB. Now Corbe with the tag pro on OD. So going to try and get out, get his offense out of base. This is going to end up grabbing though. Might have been up to Luke Mood to tell him that the uh, BGB defense was spawning behind him, but he does still have the flag. His power-ups ran out. Sevens is able to clean him up with the gate. Luke Moo. Loose but not out. Gets a nice kill at the gate and this could get him the space he needs to at least get out of base. Sevens doing a good job staying ahead though. And that's a good play to uh, give Jub Jubs enough time to spawn in. Ooh. <laughs> like, uh, who was that? Luke Moo tries to take the interesting boost with the corner. Yeah, the telestrator's not working either. I guess none of my Tamper Monkey scripts are working right now. Alright, so both teams look to be reset here. Big Gay Balls with the Tag Pro on offense, so it's gonna run out just as I say that though. And Seven is able to work his way around past the uh, Degrees of Freedom defense, but the offensive defense is there to clean him up. And Luke Moo with the anti-reset. Alright, so both teams reset here. Their team really getting a lot of uh, opportunities here to start off with. The defenses are doing a good job locking it down, and the few times that they do let them out, um, you know, they're playing good anti and stopping any regrab trains from taking place. Power up usage, though, probably could be better for both teams. Um, neither one doing a very good job at all with tag pros. Ooh, Luke Moo trying to gate job jobs, but. Turns the tables. Catalyst with a good grab. Jub Jub's right on his tail though. And again, nothing doing for either offense. Tantru with some good support, but not quite enough to gate sevens, which is what he was looking to do. Tantru now not quite going to be able to get out past the gate. And... Again, a power up going to each team. Let's see if uh, Big Gay Balls can get on the board here with this Tag Pro. And they shouldn't look to be out top. They will, in fact, be so. But Dragon Beast going to get returned, and now he's going to be past a few. They had two behind for Big Gay Balls, not really chasing Tantry at all. This could still be no chance, but Tantry is still not going to be returned. And both teams just holding around here. And Kallus is going to get the snipe back and the reset for Degrees of Freedom. Looking to make it 2 nothing. Dragon Beast gets the return, gets another one. Or I should say, uh, Luke Moo did. Dragon Beast got returned and Corby is going to tag on another one. Now, now 3 nothing for Degrees of Freedom. Alright, so Big Gay Ball's out with the Tag Pro now. That should last for a couple of seconds, it was a bit late. And Jub Jubs is cleaning up in base. 
Dragon Beast, Dragon Beast just needed to get into base, but Corvée is able to take the good boost. And Degrees of Freedom locking down a 3 nothing lead here. Beast mode up top, but Catalyst again had the good anti. And stifling any, uh, you know, momentum going forward for uh, big gay balls. Beast mode with a good out now and a good chance for PGB to get on the board here, but uh, Tantra is able to get the grab, and I think it was Beast mode. Got the return. Still a good chance though as they do have power-ups coming through. Bit of a wonky contain there, but it ended up working out. I think uh, as either Catalyst or Corvair got blocked by their own teammate. So BGB able to use their power-ups effectively for the first time. Beast Mode would have done well to just follow the lead. Although it does run out, so... Uh, not really that costly of a mistake, but... Catalyst with the good anti will get the reset, and it looks like we will uh, come away with a Degrees of Freedom victory here in this first half. Three. Two. Let's know why my scripts aren't working. All right, should be good to go here. Hopefully, yep, now oh, it's working for whatever reason. Three, two, one. 
All right. Oh, except for my jerseys. Jeez, dude. I'm not gonna try restarting for that though. So beast mode with the first out here. Tantru does have a grab as well though. Gonna try and just hold long enough for the next defender to come, but Luke Mook comes flying in. And Beast Mode is just able to walk it in for the cap. And they do substitute in Dirds now for a uh, Dragon Beast. Still the same lineup on the degrees of freedom side, so get to see this uh pretty talented, at least on paper, offense for uh big gay balls. Again, I don't know if they've uh, played with each other so far. Ooh, and Dirds gets uh, sniped by Catalyst here. Beast Mode should have should have had the power up and out, but uh, Jub Jubs is able to pick it up. And Sevens now with the rolling grab. It's gonna get bombed by Jub Jubs. <laughs> Not uh, the craziest help, but no damage done either. I think it was just a, a good kiss there by Jub Jubs now, but Sevens is gonna cut back. Corbe will as well. He was way past Sevens there. And that might have been a cap as Beastman was the last one ahead, but still it's a tie game now for uh or big gay balls have tied it up here in this second half. Sevens now gonna boost ahead. He will be the last one ahead though if Jub Jubs can't get this in time. He will be ahead though. And now Big Gay Balls are able to set up OD. Ooh, but a nice bomb from Blue Moo is going to uh, give Degrees Freedom the lead now. Corby just adds, edges out a rolling bomb, two rollings now for uh, Degrees of Freedom. Looking to just hold here, still with the rolling intact. Gonna wanna time it right with the return, but the return doesn't come and. Uh, Corbe ends up dead. Beast Mode and Jubs doing a good job trying to keep their flag carrier alive. Tantru coming into base with a flag though. Beast Mode is able to get out. And both flag carriers should look to hold around here. Tantru having to work his way back into base now. A kiss would probably favor uh, big gate balls. We'll see how that turns out. Corbe is able to hold. Not able to get out though. Beast Mode is going to have the gate, but not quite able to get the tag as Catalyst is there to pick it up. Seven's coming in hot with the flag. Was able to split uh, degrees of freedom there, but he'll be returned and now Luke Moo will be past three himself. Just as I say though, he's going to be quickly returned. Both flag carriers, I should say both teams just uh, really deep in their own regrab chains right now. Not uh, too many chances to get reset. Alright, so big gay balls again tied up. Now here, uh, a little under four minutes past. Beast Mode tries for the aggressive cap, but a lot of turns are base now, but Catalyst does have the reset on the other end. Tantru gonna win out a rolling bomb and a tag pro coming on offense, but he quickly flaccids. Corbett with the flag now, four degrees of freedom. Tantru was off in the corner, but does now come for the block. Gonna have the regrab here. Sevens just needs to stay ahead, but he gets the gain instead. And it'll be a reset for the big gay balls, as well as the uh, degrees of freedom here. Big Gay Ball's defense doing a much better job. 
uh, locking it down after those couple minutes of uh, you know holding around for degrees of freedom. And again, a power up split here. Tag Pro on offense for degrees of freedom should mean an out eventually. Though they will have to be careful with this uh, rolling bomb coming for big gay big gay balls. Tantra will be returned and a couple returns now for. Uh, big gay balls this is looking good for a cap but catalyst is in position and he will have a kiss and nothing comes of it for bgb nice grab from dirds gets the spike as well as the grab gonna boost right in and this should be another one corbe might do some damage with the bomb and he will have a grab off let's see if sevens can get the return he cannot and a good play from corbe there to save the cap Luke move right on the tail of Dirds here. Still holding around after that chance though, so looking to finish off uh, what was a good play to start off. Catalyst going for the kiss now, but uh, they're going to get the return. Tantry's still with this tag pro, and that is fresh. Apparently I spaced out long enough to <laughs> miss him getting another one. But now it's looking good for Degrees of Freedom and a sure cap as the power-ups uh, come through for them. And they again take the lead. Luke move with a good grab. Seven's had the angle though. And Tantry's going to have some work to do to try and get out past the couple. Not helped by uh, Corbe coming in just where he was going. Might have had the out, but unfortunate nonetheless. Good grabs by both teams here. Tantry with a flashy corner. Dirds. It's nice maneuvering, but will be returned. Tantry again picking up his third tag pro in a row. Not sure what happened with the top power, but it must have been rolling. Jub Jub's now with the flag. Uh, degrees of Freedom were in position now. Some returns of base for BGB. And a good block by uh, Beast Mode there. Really nice aggressive uh, play to then sacrifice on the Tag Pro. Only one on defense, though, for Big Gay Balls. Uh, both Beast Mode and Dirds ended up uh, going for regrab. But Seven still passed a couple, and this is looking good again for Big Gay Balls, and they do tack on another one. And I believe take the lead for the first time this game. Dirt's looking to make it more now. Still past a couple, but Corbett is there for the return. And it'll be up to Catalyst to stymie this uh, regrab chain, which he does. And now both power-ups go to Degrees of Freedom again. Tantru winning out the bottom one for the fourth time in a row now. At least. Corbett is rolling bottom. Going to be defused, and now Tantru will be left alone on offense. Uh, with just a little over a minute to go here, trying to now mount this comeback for Degrees of Freedom. Good handoff on the other end. It's going to get Dirds out past a couple, but Luke moves there for the return. Catalyst will again need to earn this return solo. Now Tantry's past a few, and that will be the time cap. We're tied here with a little over a minute to go now. Corbe with another chance, and he'll be past a couple. Tantra with a good block. Luke Moon's going to want to try and use this bomb somehow. But ends up <laughs> spiking himself. So Corbe will just have to hold around now for a little while. And that's going to be a kiss that should be good for Degrees of Freedom. If they can get out Tantru. Going to pick up another rolling. So possibly... Uh, Tantru going to be past a few here. Oh, but B uh, Degrees of Freedom can't get the reset. Should have been an easy snipe to take the lead. Tantru going for the return for Cap. It was close. Probably had the call from his teammates, but it uh, wasn't close enough. Degrees of Freedom probably just going to walk. want to lock it down here and take this to OT. Chub Dub's trying to take the boost off the wall. Corbett is now going to be past a few, and oh, Beastmo just gets the snipe in time. Seconds winding down here, and that should do it. So we will head into overtime here.
Sorry, I'm probably gonna have to just let the music play because I gotta set a few things up now. All right, so we're ready to go here with overtime. Overtime one on Emerald. And now we've got everything working. Sorry, I might have to pause again a couple times just because I'll have to set up a good few things in between. Alright, so Tantru now with the flag gonna be returned and that should still be a reset for big gay balls. Alright so power ups definitely gonna be crucial here in these uh, early moments and a big fight for the top pup. Kallus as a result is going to win bottom uncontested. Chubbed up's not quite able to get out. This rolling bomb could do damage for big gay balls. Tantra's gonna have to hold off anyways. They don't get the the diffuse on the rolling. So sevens will be out still intact. Definitely critical to get that diffuse here, especially in overtime. But uh, nothing comes of it for big gay balls. But now beast mode is out with the flag. Gonna try to wait, wrap around these blocks, but Tantra is there to stave off the cap. Luke Moo gonna return, be returned for degrees of freedom, and both teams will be reset here. So 
And so another power-up round here. This time, everyone goes for bottom pup, and Jub Jubs is going to win out a Juke Juice. Tantru again with the tag row, though. I think that's like his fifth or sixth tonight. And again, though, it seems that uh, his offense is slow to help him out. Corbe going to get the quick grab, but Jub Jubs is going to get the quick return as a result of the bad positioning. And Beast Mode with a first real chance here. Cal's going to want to take that boost ahead, but uh, Beast Mode will attack on the first cap of this overtime. Both teams doing a good job tonight of uh, winning at least one power-up. Feels like most rounds have been uh, split evenly between the two. But it looks like uh, we should have a pretty quiet round here as both Juke Juices are just going to stay on defense. Beast Mode with another chance here. Good aggressive boost to get ahead, but Corbe is in the right position. Sorry about that, I was trying to get ready for the second half here, but Degrees of Freedom end up tying it up. Corby is going to look to, both likers I should say, are just going to look to hold around and avoid the uh, cap last second. All right, so that'll do it for uh, the first overtime. Alright, ready to go here with 
what should be this last <laughs> half of Emerald. See which team is able to uh, get on the board first here. Uh, with so little time, it'll be, you know, obviously more crucial than ever to get a good start offensively. Thirds with a good handoff. Luke Moose should still have the angle though, and he does. Cuts off the flight carrier for the return from Catalyst. Thirds in position very early. Good, smart move not to uh, risk getting flaccid. <laughs> Just as I say that though, he ends up boosting straight into the spike. Again, we'll have a big fight for the top pup, and Jub Jubs is able to win out the bottom relatively easily. Gives himself some space with the rolling bomb, but Tantra is able to get on on the other side with his own pup. Job job still not going to be returned though, and Tantru going to have to be patient getting out here. Beast mode going to be able to work around Corbin and get the out. Bit of a hasty defend there by Corbin. Now Jub Jub still with the anti looking to get this first cap for uh big gate ball. It's gonna leave just as Beast Mode comes into base though. But Tantru is still on the same hold. And now we'll finally be out, but it results in a kiss. That should favor the degrees of freedom here. As they are reset in base, Corby is out past a couple, gonna backtrack for whatever reason. Might be waiting for pups, I guess, and gets it uncontested. And this should look good with the rolling bomb. But Dirt is able to get a grab, but Corbe times the rolling bomb perfectly. And is now one no uh, one nothing in this last half. And Degrees of Freedom are up by one. Dirt's now with a chance for big gay balls. Gets a little too aggressive though. Corbe is in the right position. Sevens with a bit of a risky grab there, boosting straight into flag. Pretty easy read for the Degrees of Freedom defense. Beast Mode looking to get aggressive with his handoff. He does, but Catalyst with a smart boost. No boost. A new Beast Mode could really only go one way with that. It's beast mode again with the rolling bomb here for big gay balls. Luke move with a good defuse though. Callus a bit of a risky bomb and ends up putting Luke move behind. Tantru gonna have to hold just long enough here and he is able to. Now it's a return for cap for uh, degrees of freedom, but he ends up getting off the gate and getting himself returned. Bit of a tricky situation there, but he did end up having the gate on sevens just uh, got off. Too early. Seven's now going to be looking for this chance to tie it up now for big gay ball. This time starting to wind down. Degrees of Freedom trying to lock it away here. Let's power ups come up and both now go to Degrees of Freedom. Not a great situation here for big gay balls. But Luke Moo's uh, rolling bomb does get defused. Tantru probably just looking to hold around here and kill some time off the clock. I want to be careful though that he doesn't give big gay balls a reset. And the bomb should give him enough space to continue holding around. Good block from Catalyst. Ish. <laughs> Tantru is still able to hold live, and that should be a cap. Dirds does have the boost, though. Sorry, I should have said it could be a cap. And now Dirds with the chance. Still a lot ahead for uh, Degrees of Freedom, though. Beast Mode finally able to get the second defender in base for Big Gabe Balls. They will still have the reset, but uh, I should say the regrab, but not enough time on the clock, and Degrees of Freedom come away with it.
Alright, so a pretty good one to start off with. Um, definitely a tight contest uh, in that first game. And again, uh, both teams kind of switching off between, um, you know, doing a really good job locking it down and, you know, staving off any uh, re-grab trains, playing smart anti, uh, but then also using power-ups effectively and, uh, you know, establishing those re-grab trains well. Um, and it ended up being a uh, you know pretty good back and forth matchup. Just waiting for various P breaks to end. And also for a lineup change to happen for both teams. Which we will uh, see in a minute here. So we're ready here on cash with uh, degrees of freedom on red. And we see uh, Dragon Beast in again for Hyamez. And uh, Anduin coming in for Catalyst on defense for degrees of freedom. And uh, Will1119 coming in for... Better remember this one. For our Tantru. So we'll see if the mantra of uh, bench tantru lose game comes into effect here. Beast with a good chance here, and this should be a cap for uh, big gay balls, and they get on board early here on cash. Much faster start than uh, we saw on Emerald. And yeah, there's a few um, defensive misplays there on the part of Degrees of Freedom. Um, I think it was Anduin had the contain for uh, for an early grab, and then um, Beastmo was able to just take the bomb liberally, however he wanted uh, to get out for the cap. But Corbe, as I'm talking about that, comes in for the equalizer, and it'll be one to one. Again, Jub Jub is able to get out past the miscontain though, but Corbe is in the right position. Lukmu gets aggressive as well. So Degrees of Freedom having some trouble early on trying to lock it down. And Beast Mode should have had the cap. Let's see if he ends up paying for it, and he does. I don't know why he ended up uh, getting off it. I don't know if it was the boat or what, but Dragon Beast should have this one. And he will. The blocks are there. And Big Gate Balls take the lead. They are able to snag both power-ups as well. And Beast Mode, make, Beast Mode makes a nice move with the Juke Juice, but Luke Mode is able to uh, get the read on the boost. Dragon, Be Dra <laughs> Dragon Beast, 
Dragon Beast now with the rolling that will be diffused. It's only around looking for an out, but Luke Mu had the uh, reset on the other end, so. Things quieting down. Should have the contain here. And they will. Corbett with a nice rub grab, but uh, Jub Jub's is there to pick him up. You see, big K balls easily win their own power. <laughs> Jub Jub's is going to get it quickly spiked though. But it's back in time to get the reset. Beast mode trying to bait Luke Moo off the boost, but not going to happen. And now Dragon Beast with some space. He is going to have to take the worst way up though. All right, I should say. No, that that's the <laughs> correct way for him to go. I'm getting a little mixed up with the jerseys. <laughs> Whoever made them is a uh, not too smart a guy. All right, so both teams are gonna be reset here. Just says the next round of power ups are coming up. Again, both teams uh, doing well to earn themselves at least one pup. And Beast Mode going to be coming in with the lead, and that'll be a cap for Big Gay Balls. An effective use of the Tag Pro by them. Again, a much different start from uh, both teams here as Big Gay Balls taking the early lead this time around. So we have another split. And big gay ball is just narrowly edging out in the pup count. But again, it really feels like each time uh, either team winning out on a pup. And Sevens just barely able to get the tag now. Beast Mode gonna have to kind of rush it to get out though because uh, Corby's coming in with the flag, but Sevens was in the right position. And it. <laughs> After kind of an exciting sequence, it'll be a quick reset for both teams. Again, doing a good job of uh, kind of calming things down after they get exciting. Jub Jub's now. We passed a few, but not quite a lot of uh, uh, OD pressure from Degrees of Freedom. And they will have the blocks, and that'll be a cap for BGB. They talking to not tag on another one, and it is now 4-1. to one. Finally another split and now BGB ahead and pups 8 to 4. Beats mode out now with the flag pro. Good aggression there by Jub Jubs to get off the boost, but Luke Moo was in the right position for the return. Beast mode out again, but will be returned and now Dragon Boost. Dra <laughs> fuck. Keep messing that up. Dragon Beast had some work to do and was not quite able to do it. Job Jobs and Sevens doing a good job uh, so far locking things down. Not quite a lot of uh, opportunities for the Degrees of Freedom offense to get much going. And just I say that though, Will might be able to take advantage here of. BGB going for pups. They do sweep the round though, so gonna want to try and make the most of this before they have to kind of deal with that. 
and we'll we'll just look to uh, kind of hold around here. Might have done well to kiss and try and give his team the uh, chance for a reset, but is still able to hold around. Not quite enough though to uh, have anything happen in the way of a capping chance. Luke with a nice grab, and he'll be out past a couple now. Will's going to want to come out for this block, but Dragon Beast, Dragon Beast is able to boost ahead and uh, put pressure on Luke Mu, and Sevens will have the return. Beast Mode able to take that bomb just how he wanted, though, and uh, that will be a cap for BGB. Uh, definitely um, degrees of freedom need to uh, pressure that bomb a little bit more, not allow uh, Beast Mode to take it how he wants. Power up will go to each team here as BGB extends their lead. And Anduin almost had the return, but he should have some uh, tags in base here. And that will be a cap for Degrees of Freedom. They narrow the lead down to four. Sorry about that. Alright, so power-ups coming up here again. And we've got pretty even fights on both sides. And should be two quickly diffused rollings, but just as I say that, Jub Jubs is able to get his intact. Luke Mu will be out with the flag though. Sevens with a good boost to catch up, and he is able to make the snipe. Let's see if he can get this one. And he will smartly stay ahead. Corbe are going to be past two nonetheless. Jubjubs can't quite make the read. Corbe has the boost. Sevens was in position though to knock him off course. Still with the capping chance though and Corbe will uh, finish with some nice blocks from Degrees of Freedom. Well now with the flag trying to make it another one. Trying to make the second half of cash a lot closer than it was just a couple minutes ago. Corbe with the last, last chance here for Degrees of Freedom. All big gay balls in base though and it will remain a 6-3 lead for Big Gay Balls. All right, so we will come full circle and go with the same lineups that we saw in the very first half.
All right, so we are all set to go here with this final half. We'll have uh, Tantru and Corbe back on offense for Degrees of Freedom with uh, Lukmu and Catalyst doing the defending. Same lineup for uh, BGB that we saw last half. That is some good uh, pressure on the bomb that we didn't quite see enough last time on the part of Degrees of Freedom. Right, so both teams will look to set up here for power-ups, and just as I say that though, Beast Mode might look for the free grab here. And Luke Moo should still get the power-up for Degrees of Freedom. And they get the return as well, so the free grab uh, ends up costing beast mode there. Corbe now with the juke juice, looking to make something happen here with a lot of uh, OD in front of him. Not quite able to do so, but Tantry will have the re grab. Gonna want to look to wait for his re grab to come. And now we'll take the flag into base. Gets past the couple, now just 2v2. But uh, Jub Jubs is able to catch up and get the return. Corbin out with the flag, so Degrees of Freedom still riding that momentum from the last half. But just as I said, they will get reset on. So both pups going two degrees of freedom here, both rolling set should be defused relatively soon. Corbett still with the flag, Beast Mode trying to get out with his rolling, or by using his rolling. Corbett ends up taking out the boost from his defense, but they are still ahead. And Cat gets the return, and this could have been a cat, but Corbett couldn't quite uh, wrap the boost around the corner. Ended up missing the wall. Callus will come up for the block, and they should have the blocks now. Corbe had to try and boost straight in, but uh, the time, the window was missed. Tantry though, still holding on to this regrab train four degrees of freedom. Jub Jubs misses the boost back, but Tantry's gonna be returned close to the flag. Corbe's gonna have to make some use of the bomb. And Beast Mode now threatening for the cap, but Luke Moo is able to get the return just as his flag carrier got returned. Tantra will pick up a rolling bomb, but maybe at the cost of a cap. No, Luke Moo was able to get the... Or I should say, I don't even know who got the return, but... <laughs> they were able to do so. And still a 0-0 game here in this second half. Corbin now with a chance. Tantra ends up blocking it, but it did save him. As he was certainly about to be returned. So Corbe will try again. Beast Mode sitting on that boost is going to get the return. Had a bit of lag there, so <laughs> I wasn't sure if he actually got it or not. And so Big A Balls finally get the reset, but Tantra is able to get the return, and Luke Moo with a good anti. Both teams uh, keeping on their fundamentals pretty well here again in this uh, final half. Just as we saw in the first half, so... Possibly the most, uh, you know, competitive lineups that we've seen all night. Seven's able to get that juke juice grab out. Will run out, but Tantru will look to be returned here. So now Corby's going to have to hold a bit long enough Orla for a kiss. Instead he will get out though, and this could be good for Degrees of Freedom, it will be. And they are able to narrow the lead down to two. Luke Moog now with the flag as well. Degrees of Freedom working quickly here. Seven's able to take that boost back effectively and get the return. And Big Gay Ball should be reset here with Beast Mode. Loose with the flag, but not quite out. 
pops getting ever more critical here as the rolling bomb goes to each team. Might see a kiss between them, but no, actually, Jub Jubs is going to have his able to get him a grab, but Catalyst is able to bounce back and get the return. Beast Pill now with a chance for big gay balls. Catalyst not quite able to take the boost. Um, far enough or boost his teammate far enough and that'll be a cap for big gate balls they extend their lead back down to three back up to three i should say beast mode now looking to make it more corby is able to make the read though danger now with a chance as big gate balls is going for power ups can't quite get to the boost in time though and corby should have a good chance with this rolling ball of his own Not quite going to be able to knock the BGB defense behind him, though. And he should be contained, and he will be. Bukmu able to get out the boost, and he will be past four now. This is a return for Cap. Dragon Beast going to have to hold it. And BGB defense is able to catch up. Tantrum now going to be past a few, and this could be a cap, and it will... No, Sevens was out of position, then was in position. <laughs> Still another chance here for Degrees of Freedom, though, if they're able to get the return, and they are. And Corbe is able to take advantage of that last-second block by Catalyst. It looks like it was either Jub Jubs or maybe Dragon Beast that was coming in hot. But they are able to bring the lead back down to two, and now power-ups are helping out uh, Degrees of Freedom here. They do need to get this return though. Seven's able to hold a bit longer thanks to the rolling bomb. Beast Smoke can't quite hit the boost and now look to play anti, but Seven's gonna be returned. Corb is now past a couple, but Beast Smoke is able to catch up. And now Dragon Boost with a good Dragon Beast with a good chance. Had to uh, kind of go off course though, thanks to the blue boost. So both teams trying to get reset here as uh, things are starting to heat up in this last half. A lot of scoring chances from both teams here. Corby's going to re get returned with the boost, but Catalyst gets a boost snipe of his own. Beast mode, though, with a clutch return, this could be good for a big gay balls. And it won't be as Dragon Beast had to uh, try and wrap around his own blocks. This is still looking troublesome, though, for Degrees of Freedom. And Tantru can't quite get the, get the return, but he will still be ahead safely. And just as I say that though, he gets returned, and Lukmu almost uh, took the cut too far to the right, but luckily Dragon Beast slowed down himself, and uh, neither team is able to cap off that back and forth sequence. So things slowing down here as uh, the time winds down. Degrees of Freedom are going to have to uh, pick the pace back up if they're to make this comeback. Corby with a nice narrow boost. Still able to hold. And this could be a good handoff opportunity. It will be. Tinsher's going to be past three. Jobs is going to have to take this boost to get ahead. And he does. And Tantry's going to get returned. It's probably the uh, best chance that Degrees of Freedom have had in these last couple minutes. Corby's going to kiss and give the handoff to his Juke Juice, but Jub Jub's had the handoff as well with the Rolling Bomb. And it's going to take a little bit longer for him to get returned. So now Corby is only going to be past one as time is starting to wind down faster and faster here. Degrees of Freedom still looking to go for kisses rather than just straight up caps. Corby with a chance now, but uh, BGB had three ahead. And I don't think they have enough time to get two caps. Weak move with a good move. But that should do it.
All right, so we come away with a split. Uh, big Gay Balls winning outright in the second game on cash. And Degrees of Freedom taking away an overtime win uh, on Emerald. Definitely really close games. I, I had mentioned it before. I think those the lineups that we saw in the first and last halves um, were definitely the most uh, competitive and well-balanced. But uh, good games nonetheless. Um so yeah, I think that's uh, all I have. I was glad to uh, be able to stream this game. And uh, hopefully we'll see you next week for either some majors or minors games, depending on how the schedule shakes out. So thanks for those who tuned in, and uh, we'll see you next time. Take it easy.